Hey, aloha gang. Welcome back to another episode of On Fire Fishing Hawaii. I'm your boy Joe. And on this episode, we are gonna go on uh, my family and an E family. We're gonna go grab the kids and have a good time. We're probably gonna go um, try to throw a pole nighttime, like right before dark, hopefully get an evening strike, some oil, papilla or something. But in the meantime, we'll have to let the kids have a good time go catching sand crabs and hopefully maybe we can even grab some uh, ama crabs so that we have some good poopoos uh for a party coming up all right guys let's go holo holo All right, let's go make some musubi balls, onigiri they call it. All these rice balls, and you can either add just salt, nori, or just a little wakame kind of action, a little, you know, furukake action, you know what I mean? All right, let's go head out to the spot. Best time is right before dark, so we're trying to get there. Rises as the sun's going down, that's usually when they have really good chances of getting papillo strikes and oil strikes. All right, let's go to the secret spot. You know where this is? Shh. <laughs> All right, guys. Here we go. Yeah. Okay. So now we're gonna dunk. We're gonna dunk first, right, guys? Dunk is when we throw it out and leave it there. Okay? We throw out the bait and we just leave it there, and somebody swims by and grabs it. Cool, huh? Okay. So, uh, let's vote. Hey, yeah. Don't don't put sand in my thing. That'll be uncool. Okay. So, um. Who votes for shrimp? Who votes for squid? All right, okay. I guess we got like two and two or something. So what we're gonna do is uh, we'll put uh, shrimp on half and eek on the rest, okay? And how's this, guys? So this episode, we're gonna make it, ooh. So either we catch it with the bait or Jaden said he was gonna eat it with the bait. Yeah! <laughs> Just joking, son. Kyla's gonna eat the bait. No! <laughs> okay, I'll eat the bait. I'll eat the bait. Okay, we better catch then, okay? Alright, let's go get this started. Alright. Alright, where I'm dunking is kind of a sandy bottom. So I'm kind of using a heavy lead to keep it in place. But you can use those triangle leads if you want. That actually works better, holds it in place through the surge. But this should be good enough. And actually, this rig is kind of like a double rig. A double so rig. you have two short, um, maybe six inch leaders, 30 pound tests, going to a, about a quarter size Gatamatsu hook, these black, shiny, sharp hooks. Um, I like to do this one on the bottom, one on the top, in this kind of areas uh, to work two different parts of the water column. This, the, the, usually the oils will hit the ones closer to the bottom, but I have seen them hit the top ones. And like usually papil, they like almost that hanging bait style they where it's it. mid water, they see smell it, smell it. it. And even if it's pitch back out here, they can see perfectly fine at night. And with the smell of these two baits, yeah. usually come right in. All right, here you go, babe. Throw them out there. Remember, dry hooks don't catch fish. So she asked me, where's my bells? And I told her I, forg I forgot it. <laughs> so he's got to see here by the pools now. <laughs> Yeah. So remember guys, don't play with matches, right? It's only for this kind of stuff, okay? That's why you teach them young. That way they don't get curious about it. Right, yeah. So teach your kids young about fire safety. And you see how we're making this fire, but it's not on the... So open fires on the beach is illegal. What It has to be in a cooking container like this. And you have to be cooking. So of course we're using this and we're going to be cooking. Uh, and we're not going to dump the coals on the beach because a lot of times old people or people walking their dogs in the morning or something usually get burnt. So make sure you guys um, always use a cooking container and get rid of your coals the right way. All right. Back to fishing. Oh, yeah. Adapa, here we go. All right. Eve is on with something. Here you go. Crank them. Crank them. You got it. Here you go, Eve. You got this. You got to do it? Okay. Oh, I got something. Oh boy. Oh. Please don't eat us. Alright, go you, take it off. Please don't eat us. So ever since 2002, it's illegal to catch sharks. So you gotta like, uh, let them go. You 
got it, Eve. Go, go. No, I don't like they, they don't want to eat. They don't want to eat these guys. Like In fact, you do. nah, Jogi, they get to eat. That's cool. cool. I didn't even think she would have my feelings. Whoa, 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 whoa. Kiss. Yeah. Nah. Got to release. Bye, guys. Here we go. So, why well, don't we use? Oh, okay, sorry. Oh, here we go. Wait for a wave come. Here we go. Go get it. Go ahead, go, buddy. Be free. Be free. There he goes. Yay. Guys, you just bite and then take a bite. Right, Nomi? How is it? Is it good, Nomi? Right? Just try an Arabiki. How's it, babe? Good? There you go. Hot. It's hot. No, no, no. Let's go, let's go catch crabs, guys. Let's make contest. Whoever gets the biggest one wins. Okay, come on. Come on, guys. Oh, this, this, this. Where is it? Oh, no, no, I was in the water. Get it, get it, no Yeah, good job. Go, put it on, oh, you dropped it. Put it in the bucket. Go, ah, oh, no. Right there, right there. Oh, stop, 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 no stop. Don't get wet. Ah, oh, Jaden got it. Yeah. Here in Hawaii, catching crabs or sand crabs on the beach is a great way to pass the time while you're waiting for something to bite. But they also make for great bait. Nice. But this one we're gonna catch you. Wow. Good job, guys. Okay, here you go. Release them. Set them free. Good job, guys. Good job. Set them free. Kind of. Oh boy. Oh, let them free. Let them free. I'll edit that out. Okay, they're, they're look. They're all. They're all fine. They're all fine. <laughs> all right, uh, I'm a crab time. The adults turn to try catch them. So I'm a crab is a type of Hawaiian black rock crab, which like to scurry around the rocks at nighttime, scurrying for food, eating limu and stuff. Uh, very popular for um, Hawaiian get-togethers, luau's, birthday parties, you know, all those uh. High school graduation parties, uh, I remember just always going summertime. And then you walk on the rocks nighttime and you just look at these big black crabs running around the rocks and typically you grab them with your hands and then throw them into a bucket. But you can also use like a, you know, the stick to kind of grab and stuff. But to me, this is always the, the most fun uh, way to do it is just to shine a light. Once you pin them down, you see them, you grab them. Oh, so and you find cool stuff like this. Yeah, so this is like a real quarter shell right now. It's a beautiful right? But, because there's an animal inside, you're gonna let him go. Let him go to let him grow. How oh, small anyway. There's big ones. Hello. I got some pinches. Ow, 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 ow. Look at that, look at that. Oh. Oh, I can hear the kids yelling in the background. I guess Nori, guy, Nori must have caught something. Let's go see what she got. Oh, there you go. Oh, look at you. White deal. Hey, Nori, you caught something. Uh, yeah, hold it up. Yeah, look at it. Oh my goodness. No, I think my friend wants his bait, so perfect. Woo! At least we got something. Yeah, I don't need bait now. We got something. Technically. It's a white eel. So technically, so technically this white eel is technically a fish because it has gills. She has gills and it has sandpaper teeth. So put your finger in his mouth, son. Go ahead, go ahead. Not gonna bite. Get on my teeth. Go put your finger in his mouth. No, I'm joking. Hold on, bite your finger off. <laughs> oh man, what an awesome time. Remember, just get out there with your family, your kids, you know, or just even by yourself, you know. 
because you're catching more than fish, you're catching memories. All right, let's go make some more with some food. All right, guys, so today we're gonna make something special. We're gonna make a shrimp boil. You know how you go kick, kick, uh, what, uh, kick in Cajun or whatever it is, and all you get is potatoes and corn. So we're gonna get like <laughs> our own, we're gonna make our own. All it is, I'll get a close up on this, babe. All it is, is we're gonna have some shrimp, potatoes, corn, sausage, some Old Bay seasoning, throw it all together. All right, let's go. <laughs> Ooh, this doesn't make you hungry. You're a vegetarian. <laughs> oh, baby. All right, we're gonna add the butter. Ooh, yeah. Everything's better with butter. Ooh, from this side. Yeah. All right. Nice on the floor. Woo! <laughs> All right. Ooh, that looks good. Oh, baby. Yeah. Cut that meat. Cut, cut that meat. Carve that, meat. Carve that meat. This is a job that nobody ever wants to do. No yet. one does because I, I, don't know. I never. Nobody wants to get blamed for cutting. Yeah. Who made these things too thin? Or who made these things too thin? Like, oh, come on. But hey, it's Easter. We'll do it. Oh baby. Oh yeah. You like see? You like see? Ooh, baby. <laughs> Oh, smoke tri tip, baby. <laughs> yes. Lick yo ski. All right, our smoked tri tip. Yeah. <laughs> oh, baby. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, look at that. Look at that. See a smoke ring? Woo! Here we go. Sweet potato, jalapeno pie. Got our boil right here. Woo! And of course, my famous smoked tri tip steak. Of course, you gotta have ham. Zippy's chili. Do you like sponsor me? No, no, no. And then we got our chicken, beef broccoli, full spread. And of course, oh, we got Nomi's. Uh, Crab over here, almond crab. So it's like a little black gold. Here we go. Here we go. We got our almond crab. This is how you eat it. You grab it like this. You smash it, and all this stuff comes out. Mmm. Mm. <laughs> Hello. Liquid gold, man. This is like. I mean, you can like individually <laughs> squeeze the legs and suck it out. Super good. Alright, here's our Cajun shrimp oil. Here we go. How you start this off is you just break off the head. This is your little treat. Mmm. Squeeze it, suck out the goodness. And then you just peel off the legs and the shell. Here's no mine. Mmm. So good. Yo, happy Easter guys. Happy Eat up. All right, eat up, guys. Go ahead, jump on in. Oh, brother. How's the steak? Oh, wow. Dangerous. Smoke tri tip, baby. Here we go. <laughs> Too dangerous. Yeah. <laughs> Good? Yeah, nice. How is it? Yeah, guys. All right, Nick, tell me what you're doing. Here we go. This is our annual um, Easter. All the dads hide all the eggs, all the kids go in the house, and there's like an $80 golden egg, and the kids go bananas. Yeah, hide them eggs, hide them eggs. Oh God, they're not real. 
Alright guys, look at this. Holy smoke. Easter egg heaven. I gotta get it before it rains. Alright, here you go kids. Go get it, go get it. Here we go. Okay, who's the next? Who's the next? Age. Go, 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 go. Go get them guys. Alright, here we go. Here comes the craziness. Oh, two yards guys, two yards. Oh, and here they go. Oh, oh, oh. Ready? Oh, oh. Uh, happy Easter. Happy Easter. Oh, I should probably count that down now. <laughs> okay, ready. Happy Easter. That's good enough. Gotta do it for the young ones. Just throw me anywhere. Yeah. Oh, shut. <laughs> this is a key shirt. Oh, no. <laughs> I don't know. It was focusing. Sorry. No. All right. Jaden, let other guys go first. Jaden, let other people go first, please. <laughs> no me, no me, no me. Let other people go first, please. <laughs> Look at face. All right, gang. Thank you guys again for watching another episode of On Fire Fishing Hawaii. Um, I got actually a lot of cool stuff coming up this summer. Probably a lot more uh, fishing uh, stuff from shore and also from the boat. And um, But let me know in the comments uh, what you guys want to see. You guys want to see a lot more shore fishing or you guys want to see a lot more boat fishing or even diving, whatever, let me know. Um, i just like to hear what you guys think. Make sure you guys hit that like and subscribe button. It really helps grow the channel and, you know, helps me know I'm going in the right direction. So, all right, guys. Make sure you guys take care of yourselves and take care of others. Catch you on the next one.